The wheels of democracy are turning, and quickly by the looks of it. Two weeks ahead of an election, to have 300,000 ballots back at our facility is record-breaking and is awesome and amazing. This is the facility in King County that is sorting ballots received ahead of election night. And today, election officials ran their formal test on the devices that will count your vote. Uh, the ballot processing team will scan our test deck through all nine scan machines. Dummy ballots are run through to make sure the machines correctly read the selections. And it's really the final check to make sure they're ready to start counting. After 20 years, I still get butterflies, and this election has so much excitement around it. I've never seen numbers like this. I've never seen turnout so early in an election cycle like this. King County Director of Elections Julie Wise says she's never seen a first weekend of voting like this, with some drop boxes already filling up. And we've heard from some voters that feel it's important to move quick to make sure no issues prevent their vote from counting. There are parties out there trying to sow distrust in the upcoming results. Big picture, how do you reassure voters that this is a free and open and fair election? What we do is we provide that transparency to the actual process we're doing here. We've added a lot of key points to our ballot tracker so that voters can make sure that their ballot is in safe hands and that they can track it through every single step of the process. And she recommends checking out that tracker and getting your ballot in early, whether it's by Dropbox or Mailbox. But vote by mail is a secure, accurate, and accessible form of elections. Michael Crow, King 5 News.